Good morning, everybody. It's Monday, and I just want to give a shout out to my daughter Tatiana and tell her I'm proud of her and congratulations because she um, decided to join in the Daniel Fast with some of our relatives down in Miami um, starting on New Year's. And so it's a fast based on biblical principles that you do for 21 days. No um, meat, just fruit and vegetable, um, certain seasonings, and water. You can also have fish not fried, but she doesn't eat fish, so she had fruit, vegetables, water, um, yellow grits, and brown rice, which I don't think she really cared for because she didn't really eat much of it. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to come on here so that I was really proud of her. She stuck through it. Um, she had to go to school through it. She had to watch us eating pizza while she was doing it. Um, she still went to swim practice while she was doing it and not loading up on her carbs and things like that. So I just wanted to come on here and tell her I was really proud of her. And now she gets to eat whatever she wants today. So I think she's excited. <laughs> having had done there's still a drip in it in my washing machine so I washed the first load of clothes and I was like why is there still water on the floor so I you know traced it back to the tile trying to figure out where the uh, drip was coming from and it's coming from where they put the new copper pipes from the hot water heater 
So the plumber's supposed to be coming in today for that. Um, but he just called while I was at work. Called at four. Said, oh, we're on our way to your house. And I was like, well, what time are you gonna get there? Because you said you were gonna be there between 6.30 and seven, and it's four o'clock, so nobody is at the house. So he said he had another job in our area. So he was, you know, like already, I guess gonna be in that neck of the woods or whatever. So I was like, okay, can you hold on a second? So I had to call Carlos because the boys have a scrimmage today at five. Gio has a band meeting today at six. He's missing swim practice, which would be at five. And then Tati has swim practice from six to 7.30. So we had already figured out that Carlos would take them to the scrimmage and then they would have to get a ride home so that he could be at the house with the plumber. I could be at the school at the band meeting. And then I was gonna see if granddaddy could drop Tati off to swim practice. So we had to arrange a ride for the boys so that Carlos could be at the house um, with the plumbers. So that took a minute or two. And then I'm gonna be dropping Tati off at my mom's and then she's gonna take her to swim practice because my dad actually has to go bowling because he bowls in a league tonight so so that's it it worked out it's just funny how like they i was like I, uh you said like 6 30 7 o'clock and he's like yeah well, we're in the area and i'm like like i want to get it done and i don't mean to sound like i'm complaining but it's kind of like yeah well i'm not home because that's like a total that's like two and a half hours difference a lot of things can go on in two and a half hours including me getting home Carl's getting home, getting the boys to their games or whatever. But hopefully tonight they'll get in, get this fixed, and then after that, um, we have some of the contractors coming in to fix the things from the water damage and so on and so forth. So that's that. I will talk to you all later. Sitting here in traffic, so I just wanted to come on and tell you about that real quick. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Both of us. Okay. That, the sun is in your face. Go the other way. Oh, okay. All right, so Tati's dropped off. We're headed to our band meeting. I met with the, I mean, I sent the band director an email um, earlier today because he assigned Giovanni to the flute. And I asked that Giovanni play alto sax because I don't know if any have kids in band or whatever but typically what they do is go with these companies and you rent an instrument from them for like however long your kid is in band or whatever or you can buy the instrument outright um, most instruments are um, over a thousand dollars so I have one at home I have an alto sax at home um, completely paid for Quentin used to be in band Quentin used to play saxophone um, so I asked that Gio be able to play the saxophone and he assigned them the flute. So I sent them the email this morning, I guess, when they did their little tryouts. How long, like, what did y'all have to play for your little tryout? We had to play, like, tuba, trombone, uh, trumpet, and then play the clarinet. And the clarinet is like, it has like the same exact mouthpiece as a saxophone. And I couldn't play the clarinet. Like, I couldn't even get, like, one sound out of it. But how long did you... And we played the flute, and I didn't really get on that, so... But how long did you play? <laughs> like, on clarinet, how long was the tryout? Like, 30 seconds. Right, so for 30 seconds, they did their tryout. And so the decision's already been made that he can't play alto sax. And I want him to play the sax because I don't want to spend any more money. And also, if he gets older, like goes to college or whatever, and he's still playing and he wants to make money on the side, and somebody might want to hire a saxophone player for the church or for a wedding or whatever, like I personally myself never hear of anybody hiring a flute player to play at their wedding or whatever, things like that. So I'm gonna ask him tonight, look, can he play the alto sax? I'm not going to rent another instrument. I'm not going to buy another instrument. Um, point blank period whether he says yes or no so either he's gonna find him a flute for free or um, we're gonna have to switch to the other instrument and I'll tell him his brother can show him how to blow in it like he literally worked on it for 30 seconds so in a week's time of him working with his brother who knows how 
he might be able to blow into the the saxophone so we're going to the meeting early um, to see if he saw my email and just didn't respond to it or whether or not he didn't get my email so we'll let you know how that goes how do you end it so the band teacher said that Quentin could teach me how to play the saxophone what else did he say so he said we'll try it out for a little bit. He told me that Giovanni didn't test well on the saxophone, which I knew Giovanni told me that he didn't do very well. But I asked him, I said, can we just try it? Can I have his brother sit down with him, give him some attention, um, and then see how it works out. So he said he's willing to see how it works out. So I texted Quentin and told him he's gonna work with his brother on the saxophone. He said, okay. So, we will have to keep you posted, but hopefully the saxophone will be his instrument. So now I'm over here looking for the boys to pick them up from football practice, and I've never been to this field over here. So. Wait, what boys? Chris and Dre, and then I have to go get Tati from swim practice. Okay. And I can finally relax in my house. Good morning, y'all. So, if you do not know, I'm headed, well, you wouldn't know, but I'm headed to the dentist. Um, I'm in the reserves, Army Reserves, and they send you to the dentist, and they send you to for a physical um, once a year. So, right now, the time is 7.30, and my appointment is at 8, and um, for whatever reason, when they schedule these things, well, they schedule them through a contracted company up in Wisconsin. And they ask you if you want an appointment close to your house, which of course you do, so yes. And so my appointment is in Largo, which is nowhere close to my house at all. So I think I got about a 30, 40 minute drive to go to the dentist and they're gonna do a, a cleaning, well, an exam, a cleaning, and an x-ray. And I don't know about y'all, but I mean, ever since I was a little kid, whenever you had to go to the dentist, you brush your teeth, do your mouthwash, whatever, and then you don't eat anything. So I'm dying for something to eat right now, and I especially want my coffee. So ready to make this drive, go get this over with, and then head back home. So I'll talk to y'all when I'm done. All right, so I finished at the dentist. He did his exam, and I'm all good to go. And then... My dog got out. Somebody opened my side gate. I don't know who. My kids know not to open it. We don't open it because we know he'll get out. So somebody opened my side gate. So the dog got out. But so they called us from the animal hospital. Somebody found him. And then with the microchip, it had our phone number and our address on it. So I had to go pick him up. And now I'm getting ready to have breakfast with my mother. And then I'm going to go home and take a nap until it's time to take Tati to her appointment. Good morning. morning. Okay, so basically, I just got my shot and I got two lollipops for the shot. After the shot, I got, I got five shots. Oh my goodness. Okay. I got five shots. I got th three in this arm. Can't see the third band aid because she put it on the other side. This one hurt the most, two in this arm. And we were in there for about an hour. I guess everybody wants to run slow on Thursdays. And now we're going to Soho Juice and we're gonna get acai bowls. We're both gonna get the Cloud Nine one. It sounded really good. All right, Tati's gonna show you her. So this is, this is the, the Cloud Nine bowl. Mm -hmm. And I'll put the, yeah, I'll put everything that's in it um, on the screen. But there you got the top. Mm. Strawberries at the top are so sweet. And then there's the side view. Yep, so we're gonna hurry home so we can tear these up real quick. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna start recording. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So, 
So we just got out of Salvation Army. Oh, okay. We just got up the Sa Salvation Army. Oh yeah, let me unwrap this stuff first. Okay, now bef now before I show you what like I like what I got, um, I'm gonna tell you how I first felt about the thrift store. Like whenever my mom talk about going to the thrift store, I'd be like, oh my goodness, like that. Except except like. We went into a thrift store. I was like, I always try to get her to come to the thrift store with me because I tell her you can have so much fun. Like you can hand your kids like ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, heck, even five dollars, and let them just walk around and pick out whatever. But she never wants to go to the thrift store. But now, so here's how the story was. This was hanging there, and we were walking past, and I said, "Huh, this will be so cute." And mom, and my mom lifts it up. She goes, "Yeah, but there's a hole in it." I went to look in the hole. I put my eye in the hole, and I see a whole twenty dollar bill. Let me see if y'all can see it. I don't think y'all can see it, but we'll try. Yeah, you can see it. Ooh, so bumpy. But like, you can see it, you see. Hold on. Uh, wait for good lighting. There it is. There it is. Okay. And the next one, my mom, I was looking for my mom. I was like, wait, so I didn't believe her. She said, mom, there's a $20 bill in here. And I was like, Tati, stop playing around. So she's like, no, it's a $20 bill. So I go and I look at it and I'm like, it sure is. I said, well, we'll go ahead and get it then. So Tati just came up $20 by being, <laughs> by going to the thrift store. Mm -hmm. And now this, I'm not showing you in the front yet. This is a mug specifically for me. I was like looking for my mom and then I went to look in the mug section, right? And then I was like, I saw the mug and I was like, mama, that is the mug that I would get. And she goes, I know, I wouldn't think less of it. And then I was like, can I please get it please? Cause I was like, this is probably not gonna be here by the time I get, by the time I get back. And this is the mug that I saw. This is the mug that I saw. It's perfect. So if you know Tati's personality, that's the perfect mug for her. I saw another mug that was the shape of a bus, but I was gonna wait a little bit for that one. So yeah. Ooh. Now you gotta break it. Yeah, feeling good. After my first thrift store shop in my thrift store haul. So yeah, see you guys later. Alright, it's Sunday. We're leaving church and I have not even half of my crew with me. Say hey, Zoe. Hi. And I got Gio. Hi. And Tati, where'd you go? She was getting something out the car. Say hi. Hi, hello. <laughs> So we're kind of having a rough Sunday right now, but we're gonna run into the commissary, grab a couple things for lunch. We woke up this morning thinking about lasagna. I must have been dreaming about lasagna, so that's what I'm making for dinner today. So we're gonna grab that stuff and then head home. Hi everybody, today we're at the commissary buying a few stuff for lunch. And mommy, me and mommy woke up this morning. And me and Gio jumping on trampoline this morning. I was scared to do my um front flip, and then Andre's got on. And um, oh, well, if you're gonna talk to it. You need to do it this way. No, she wants to like gu guide oh. the store and talk oh. about her life. Can you get an offer over there? Hmm? Can you get an offer over there, man? Yeah. Oh, I don't know how it works. <sighs> what does it say? Let me see. It says, Vincent, think you'd be a great fit here. You are definitely talented, and we want to continue the recruiting process with you. We will no doubt be staying in touch, Coach Crawford. We mean nothing. Huh? It only takes a second. 
I'm getting one too, Zoe. You nervous? Hey, people. Flu shots are suck is a second. Are you scared, Quinn? Yes. Quinn's scared. I know Vincent's scared. Huh? Huh? Where? In the back. Alright, I told y'all I was new to this swim mom thing, and you see these concrete bleachers? They are hard, hard, hard. But then you see some of the parents are in their fold out chairs right here. So that's something I never thought of. But next swim meet, we'll definitely have our folding chairs because this is killing me right now. Say hey. Hello. So we're, he had to come late because we didn't have anybody at the house to watch the kids and he had to drop the pizza off and stuck in traffic and blah, blah, blah. So he's here now. We've got two events done and we got two more to go. So we'll check in later. I don't know why she don't get off the lane line though. <laughs> That's the one that swims and swims and swims like 800 meters. I like your hair in the ponytail better than without it. All right, so Tati's done with all her events. Gio has one more event to go, and then that's the crowd that is left. No matter what meet we go to, what event we go to, we are always in the last event. Four events is too many. So, a few more minutes, and then we're out of here. Can y'all do a one, two, three, and then lift? We already tried that. Yes. Tati, squat. Look, look, look. Tati. Well, show her how to lift, Vincent. She's, she's. Yeah. Tati, you got to do like. Tati, you got to squat and lift with your legs. Do you need help on that side? Or you got it? Use your legs, Tati. One, two, three.
us. We had to come up here to get tap shoes for Zoe, which of course they didn't have her size. And then I'm looking for an outfit for an event I'm going to on Friday night. And I elected to pick them up from daycare, come straight to the mall. I was going to rent a stroller. And apparently, stroller rental is not something they do at the mall anymore. We didn't walk around a whole circle, couldn't find a stroller to rent. Went to the baby section in Pennies to try to um to find an umbrella stroller stroller, goodness gracious, to buy. Um, they didn't have one either. So now I'm actually walking around the mall with a shopping cart to put the baby in the shopping cart so that I can find um, the outfit. And he's he's walked around this whole mall and been really good about it, but right now we're taking a little break in a little play area. And then we're going to continue on our excursion. Why do you want to take your socks off? I don't care. That's Zoe's hairdo that I was supposed to redo Sunday. Where are we at now? Wednesday? <laughs> Twala, say hey. You know I take that picture. <laughs> I want this a video. I'm not taking a picture. It's a video. Smile, Twala. I'm not photogenic at all. So we just went and saw the color purple. We had a girls' night. It was really good. And if you get a chance to ever go see it, make sure you go see it. So I think uh, the two of us may become uh, theater regulars. So that was pretty <laughs> good. So couldn't uh, record inside because the ushers are about it when it comes to stopping people from recording um, in the show or whatever, but we had a good time, so make sure you check it out. Look, mommy used to have birds like this. Oh, yeah. Yep. My first one's name was Susie. I can't remember my Susie was the like blue one, like the turquoise one. And then I can't remember I had one that color and I can't remember what his name was, but Susie was my first and she accidentally got stepped on by my friend. Um and it killed her and I was so sad. And um my mom had just told me five minutes before that to put her away, and I didn't listen. Why do bunnies eat that food? They're supposed to eat carrots. <laughs> I'm sure they feed them carrots sometimes. He's cute. The brown one is cute. Maybe that's why I think the other one is cuter because he has his ears up. Huh? He's cute. We used to have a rabbit too. His name was Bandit. Cute. Me and Uncle Darren when we were younger. Bandit or Bat. Wait, Bandit? Yeah. Or maybe it was Barrington because we had a dog too and I think his name might have been Bandit and the rabbit was Barrington. So this is cute. They got in here. Kids learn about fish care and then you scan the little QR code. Sit down before you fall. I'll push you over there. Look at the neon ones. The pink ones? Yeah. Yeah, that's Hey everybody. It's Friday. 
Um, I'm coming to you from the baseball field. My boys are trying something new. They're going to try baseball this season. And this week, um, Derek Jeter's Turn 2 Foundation had a camp. It's a free baseball clinic for the kids, um, four-day clinic. And then today they're having like a luncheon for the kids and the parents. So I'm sitting in the car outside of the baseball field right now. Um, my kids getting their first experience in baseball and then we're gonna go in here and to the luncheon So I'm gonna see if I can find them here on the field for you real quick And it's actually been a chilly week for us here in Florida. That's Andreas. Let's see if I can get him right there kneeling down And then let me see if I can find Chris All right, well, I'm not gonna see Chris from here because I remember Dre told me that him and Chris were in um different groups but I'm gonna go ahead and go inside because they said that it was um gonna be packed seating I guess for this luncheon so we're gonna go on in here and then I'll have the boys talk to you and tell you what they think all right I don't know if you can hear me or not in here but this is the little luncheon that they have set up for them Looks like looks like chicken or taco. Well, different types of bars, but I know I saw a taco bar over there, so I know that's one choice. So I'm just in here waiting on the boys to get in. Their group was the last group to get called when they separated them by um, parks. So uh, just looking for mine to come in here. 